the more and more na we're stuck at home, the more shitty we feel, the more unmotivated we feel, the more uninspired we feel. So I think that's a good excuse para sa akin to shoot yung first up nitong video na to outside. It's been a while since the last time that I to Alabang just for leisure and just to walk around so that will be interesting to see. Originally, yung plan ko for last week's video is about how to pick winning friends kasi I think it encapsulates yung adulting theme nung channel ko or kaya naman um, the rise of retail traders and uh, the rise of speculative stocks kasi I think that's under personal finance. Pero hindi ako makapag-focus dun sa idea na yun kasi I'm being more drawn to dun sa, sa mas important para sa akin, which is I'm missing more human interaction right now. Siguro for the others, not interacting with other people is a positive thing for them kasi totoo naman, di ba? Minsan, mas stressful siya and madalas hassle siya kasi traffic and madalas late pa yung mga kasama mo, di ba? Pero kasi, in the end, if you really think about it, uh, uh, before, uh, pagka nakipagkita ka sa mga friends mo or you go out with them, you'll end up happier before ka nakipagkita sa kanila, di ba? And it's like exercise na sa simula hindi siya ganun kasaya, pero after you did your exercise more after you meet your dear friends you end up being happier okay i'm now currently in commerce center so dito ako nag park and before sobrang hirap mag park dito kasi laging puno but right now tingnan mo sobrang empty nung parking lot dito meron pero sobrang onti niya than the usual so i know it's really weird it's really weird the new normal is really weird Before COVID, every Friday I used to play with my friends ng basketball from 7 to 9 p.m. So every Friday talaga matik na reserve na saman yung court. And looking at our situation right now, parang sobrang labo po natin makabalik dun sa, sa dati nating situation where we could play basketball. I guess this is me missing my buddies and missing basketball kasi uh, sa lahat ng sports na sinubukan ko from badminton to, to boxing, basketball lang yung tumagal sa akin and basketball lang yung hindi ako nagsawa. And ngayon, parang more than a year na or magmumago, one year na kami na pag basketball. And I'm starting to feel left out sa community na na-build ko for, for three years na pag basketball. So, ayan. Just continue this video dun sa, yung second time itong video na to dun sa bahay namin. Another thing na miss ko are social public events and seminars kasi those are the things that I used to go to and it made my life so much more interesting. Plus, it provided me stories and experiences that contributed a lot to who I am today. From leadership events, learning new ideas, or learning how to be more confident just being around other people, to networking events, exchanging stories with people I just met, to stand-up comedy show that made me laugh so hard. Ito, so mga hindi pa nakakilala sa akin, hindi pa nakapanood sa akin, kukwento ko ang comedy ko po. Pinagtatanggol ko lahat ng marataba sa mundo. Sito mo mataba dito? Round of applause. Sobrang nakakainis yun, man. Diba? <laughs> Tapos hindi ka pwedeng mapikon kasi pag mataba ka dapat jolly ka lang para. Dumpo dumpo dumpo. Dipi dipi inyo expectation ng tao sa hello. Hello. To social driven events, spending time with young public school students or just playing board games with my friends. I have to state this fact na real world human interaction is just way 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 better than zoom meetings or facetime and i have to admit na real world human interaction is simply irreplaceable plus not to mention travel i think the last time na nakapag travel ako was ano two years ago pa so that was way back 
in 2019. So, yung last time ako nakapag-travel with my college friends was, was, was in uh, Bawan, Batangas pa. And then the other one uh, with my family sa Boracay. And I can't wait na makatravel na ulit. Pero, alam mo, it's, it's not as, uh, as uh, affordable as it was before. Kasi nga, due to the additional requirements na uh, in-add nila ngayon. Plus, uh, it's not as convenient as it used to be. So, yun. Tapos, um, yung refund namin dun sa sa flight namin to Siargao last year, na, nakuha na namin refund namin. Kaya lang, ang daming deductions, ang daming mga charges na binawa sa amin. So, yun. Tapos, uh, this year, uh, yun na, may, may flight na ako to Coron, somewhere in July. And hopefully, pag-travel na ulit ako. And fingers crossed, sana matuloy na yun. Lastly, on the creative side, I miss the old YouTube days where creators are just uh, creating videos that they want to make kasi it's fun and they wanted to share an idea and they wanted to be heard. And looking at the YouTube space right now, yung mga, yung mga channel, I have to admit, including yung channel ko, is it's so technically made from the thumbnail to the title to the video itself. Alam mo, parang nawawala na yung rawness that made YouTube very different than traditional media. Everyone's following the same playbook, the same recipe, the same trend. Alam mo, if you look at your homepage, uh, YouTube homepage, probably going to see a reaction video or a home tour video or a sensational video or a how-to video. Alam mo, it's getting really repetitive and it doesn't breed as much creativity as before. Plus, nawawala na yung surprise factor. For example, sa channel ko na lang, uh, oh, yes, yeah, Jay is going to is probably going to make another personal finance video. And if you look at yung mga channel na na subscribe po kayo, I mean, you already have an ex expectation kung ano yung next na video na gagawin nila. It sucks kasi YouTube doesn't incentivize doing something new or doing something other than the usual. Rather, YouTube incentivize uh, creating uh, videos of similar topics or, or niching out or doing similar videos. I mean, paulit ulit na lang. And I think in the long run, it's not healthy for the viewers and the creators as well. And I miss yung vibe na hindi ko alam yung i-upload ng, ng mga pinafollow ko ng creators. Pero alam ko na maganda yung i-upload nilang videos. So yun, I miss ko yung old Casey Neistat vlogs and Yes Theory videos. Those are some of the things that consumes my mind lately. I try to get my focus back next week so that I can do the usual video. I know it's counterintuitive dun sa sinasabi ko for, for this video. But, uh, but I have to always remind myself that my goal for this year is to progress. So, yeah, I mean, you just have to suck it up. Anyways, I hope you still enjoy watching this video. Uh, please let me know in the comment if uh, if your your thoughts or your suggestions or if you have if you feel the same way as I feel this video na to. So, yun lang. I hope you're doing well and see you in the next video. Bye.